Hi, everybody. Um, well, I wanted to come um, and make a video in these last couple days of school uh, to say goodbye to everybody. Um, this is uh, always not easy for me. It's always difficult to say goodbye to classes, um, and this format certainly doesn't make it any easier. Um, and so uh, I do like to, to kind of give a general goodbye to students uh, as we transition and, and move out of a year. Um, and so the, the first thing that I think uh, I want to take away uh, from this year is just how uh, great you guys have been at navigating some really choppy waters. Um, you know, we, we, we can't talk enough about uh, how difficult this year is, and, and at the same time, I don't think we want to talk about it anymore at all. Um, but we do have to acknowledge, like you, you took, um, especially if you took other AP classes, a number of very challenging courses that are challenging during any year. Um, and I can't speak for everybody else in the building, but you guys hit almost every expectation that I would usually have in a typical school year. I mean, if you think about it, um, we, we let go of some of the icing this last semester where we would have done like a play or a movie. Um, you know, that's, that's a couple weeks that we kind of didn't uh, attend to. Um, and instead of writing a poetry essay first semester, we did Socratic, these kind of group discussions. Um, and so that's pretty remarkable to hit all of the things that we typically do in a year um, in this year where everything has been um, so much more difficult. Um, I hope that as you reflect on this year, as you think about um, some things that you want to do a little bit better, you think about it in the, in the frame of being an independent college student. Um, that's a place where a lot of you kind of have created these relationships and created these back channels that really help. And I think sometimes that really helped you guys and sometimes it hurt you uh, by not going to, to me as your teacher enough. Um, and so maybe that's something that you learn here that, that you take into college um, and kind of adapt a little differently. And that's, you know, that's I think just a big learning experience. It's not, um, it's not a knock on you guys at all. Um, and, you know, really I think we just kind of all owe ourselves this big kind of congratulations for making it through this year and, and doing the good work that we did. Um, and even being able to amend that work when we, when we needed to, which I think is very much in the spirit of the class and very much um, what I see uh, all of you being capable of doing um, is putting, putting away maybe a little bit of pride and, and saying, okay, now I understand how to do something a little better uh, and getting better at it. Um, so a few things as we leave. Um, one is uh, I hope you've learned a lot of different things from this class. I, I think one of the biggest things that I hope you take away is um, how to get good information, how to process good information, and, and how to make that a part of your life, really. Um, that's one of the things that I hope that, um, that I conveyed here. And um, maybe I didn't say this often enough, but the other one is just kindness towards other people. Um, and that's something I think we had a hard time uh, as a whole community showing that kindness enough um, when we're across screens from each other and, and um, not face to face and not, um, you know, making those little errors in front of each other uh, that require a kind response to kind of get over. Um, instead, every, you know, fault that we have is, is internal this year. Um, and when I think about something like kindness and I think about some of the coursework that we've done, like we're so divided as a country right now, um, showing your ability to think a little like somebody else might think um, is, a, is a huge act of kindness. Um, and I think something that's really important. And I, I hope you take that into your lives, maybe along with becoming a better writer and a better thinker. Um, as we move into next year, uh, I want you to know that I am a resource for you. So if you are having a difficult time coming up with a summer book, absolutely, I encourage you to talk to Mr. Jennings, but uh, you can talk to me too. Um, I, I always like to kind of know what's going on, uh, especially with students who are still in the building, although um, I do really 
relish the opportunity to see uh, students who have left the building on my Facebook feed or wherever. Um, and so that's something important to me that, that uh, students who we've had a connection want to keep in touch. Um, but I do want you to know, like I'm a resource for you next year. If you need, um, you know, eyes on a paper or something, uh, you know how busy I am, but I'm willing to shift things around for you. Um, and so don't be a stranger. Um, I, especially this year, I, I hope you stop by my room and say hi. Um, you know, we just didn't get enough of those opportunities uh, last year, and I, I hope next year we can, we can fill in some of those gaps. Um, I also wanted to speak about letters of recommendation. So um, this year it's going to feel maybe a little weird to ask teachers for letters of rec if you've been distant um, because maybe you don't feel like you have a strong enough connection. Uh, but I would say just ask anyway. Um, and really as you're thinking about asking for letters of recommendation, the summer is a really good time to ask um, when your, your letters are basically due, uh, you know, any time between September and uh, December. Uh, and so if you give faculty a chance to write over the summer, they're going to appreciate it. Um, and so just a few things that, that will help with that when you approach somebody. Um, make sure they're a good writer. Uh, that's, that's a really important one. Um, they want, you want them to talk about you, um, you know, with gusto. Uh, make sure then you supply them with things to talk about. So not only a resume, but also maybe things we don't know about you. Um, and again, like I said, this year you might feel a little disconnect if you haven't had somebody, uh, you know, this year. And junior teachers are kind of typically the, the people that you ask. Junior teachers, counselors, principals, anybody that you feel really close to. Um, typically, colleges are going to say, why are you asking a sophomore teacher when you had a junior teacher last year um, if you're asking sophomore teachers? But who knows? Maybe that changes a little bit because of COVID. Um, so ask somebody who's a good writer. Ask somebody who knows you pretty well. Uh, those are generally some good rules and supply them with a lot of info. And I am happy to do that for, for most all of you. If, if we've had kind of a hectic relationship, um, you know, feel free to feel free to ask me, um, but know that I'm going to be honest with you and, and say like, well, I'm not sure if that relationship was strong enough. Um, and please don't put any teacher, especially me, uh, in the position of saying no because you've only asked two days before the thing is due. Um, so that's something that I would, that I would seriously suggest that you think about. Um, that's about all that I have. Uh, it has been a great year for me because of you. Uh, every other aspect of this year has been, has been trying uh, and difficult, um, but you guys really, um, really made it worth coming in every day, even if I was only going to see a few of you or talk to, you know, four or five of you online, um, you made the year happen. Uh, and so I can't, um, I can't thank you enough for that. Um, and I hope uh, next year is the senior year that you guys really deserve.